Mercedes is the Portuguese main distribution system operator. We have around 6 million customers and we deliver them energy every day. I'm Ruben Costa and I work at EREDS in the Innovation Department. We have to make sure that the grid is running with safety and reliability and the vegetation close to the power lines might be a risk factor. We have to make sure that it doesn't put our grid and the environment around it in danger. So that's an important task that we face today at EREDS. We saw an opportunity to install and to develop a model that could automatically, with a camera installed on that car, inspect the low voltage grid for low voltage vegetation anomalies. And TT Data showed us a demo and showed us some work that they already developed that gave us confidence in choosing NTT Data. We were very excited to work on this project, mainly because it has to do with sustainability, which is a very huge goal for, for us here at NTT Data. Hi, I'm José Varela. I work in AI, in computer vision, here at NTT Data Portugal. So I actually got a GoPro from a colleague and strapped it to the windshield of my car and drove around to collect the first images of the incoming traffic. So it was a really, I mean, what's not to love about it? It's, it's, it's just awesome. The technology and the real world application and being environmentally driven. Originally, the challenge was to have the trees and have a measurement of the distance between the electric pole and the tree. But especially because the trees, the leaves are moving. And so it's really hard to get a fix on the depth of the tree. So we did a lot more research and we found out that we were not the only ones bumping into this and there wasn't really a solution to be had. But we would suggest something else. There's a simpler problem that we can actually help you guys implement, which is detect if there's a pole and a tree in the same location we can get the videos and we can do a system that automatically does this. So instead of pointing the cameras sideways, we just point them forward in the car and from that forward motion, we can detect the trees and the poles. We ended up creating a series of heuristics, detecting trees, detecting electricity poles. So it was overall a hugely interesting and challenging problem that we really love to, to, to tackle. We really liked the solution. We liked the development of the solution. We believe that with the right evolution, one solution of this kind could be spread across the entire grid. Our goal is to develop and to have a solution that could be easily spread. That's one of the main reasons we choose this approach with entity data was to be low cost in the hardware phase so that we could spread it all across the grid and all across our fleet or our partners. I love all computer vision projects, but this has a really special place in my heart. It's very close to sustainability once again. We are actually working to make the world a better place, to make the power grid here in Portugal more reliable and that directly transforms into people having comfortable lives, especially now that we have people working from home. And losing power can be a real problem. So I think it's just a, a beautiful opportunity to, to help make the world a better place.